everybody and welcome to Totally Trendy. My name is Sam and today we are answering the question that no one ever asked. Is five minute crafts a reliable source for science? Five minute crafts, you guys know them, you guys love them or hate them, uh, who's to say, but you guys do love when I explore some of their content and things that they put out there in the world. And I recently discovered that they have a science channel. A lot of those videos are filled with things that I don't know if they would necessarily like qualify as science like a science experiment the titles are always like 10 science experiments that'll blow your mind or like all these crazy things and then it's like an optical illusion you know we are gonna be testing some science experiments from five minute crafts today to see if they work Two, how well they work like do they match the video and three if they are somewhat educational because that's the thing I noticed with some of these five minute crafts like science videos is like they don't really explain why these things happen. They're just like, oh, this happens and then this happens. Totally crazy. And then move on. That's what we're going to be exploring today. We are going to start off with a simple one. So the first one from 5 Minute Crafts we are going to try is this little trick. You take some arrows, put a glass in front of it, fill it with water, and it supposedly flips one of the arrows. Now, this is a little lesson on refraction versus reflection. Ooh, science! Yes, science! Now, of course, Five Minute Crafts doesn't explain that, but thanks to Physics Central, we can get to the bottom of this. When the arrow is moved to a particular distance behind the glass, it looks like it reversed itself. When light passes from one blah 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 science, you know? So, let's test it out. I am drawing two arrows, and they are pointing to the right. Okay, so I have the arrows pointing that way now because I, my jar wasn't tall enough. I think the thing we need to play with is like the distance of the jar to the paper because, you know, right now they're just facing the normal way. So let's see. <gasps> what? <Wow! laughs> now they're both pointing that way. Okay, cool. Five minute crafts taught us some science. So this one might not be the most like mind blowing thing, but it works. It works like it did in the video. The only thing that I do wish that they like included was some very brief explanation. Like they literally could have just popped up text that said like this happens because of refraction. And like that's what I would say, but yeah, this little optical illusion works. On to the next. This next one that we are going to be doing is from a video that's called 33 science experiments that look like a pure A pure what? They don't explain. But anyways, the first step is to take a little tin that we have prepped already and pour some acetone in it. And then, apparently it melts styrofoam cups like very well. We're gonna test this. So if you don't know what acetone is, or if it sounds familiar, it's because a lot of nail polishes use it. So I have 100% acetone here and some styrofoam cups. We're just gonna see if this works. Like they make it look like it melts instantly. I do think one thing that tends to be misleading about their videos is that they speed up the process to make it look like it happened much faster than it actually did. So we are first just gonna try one cup and then we're gonna try to do like the tower thing that they do. We're just pouring a good amount. Now please do this in a well ventilated area because this stuff smells strongly. Let's just do it. So, oh, do you hear that? Whoa, this is so much faster than I thought. Look at it, just completely disintegrating, wow. So this is why they say to not put this in styrofoam. Wow, okay, really crazy. So here I have a very tall stack of styrofoam cups. Let's see how quickly this goes down. All right, not too bad. Whoa, this feels really crazy to do. I have to show people this one. Like, this is a really cool one. Like, what? So it still is taking a little bit of time and I don't really have the patience for it. I mean, yeah, you guys get it. Like, completely melts it. We have to show some people this one. Before I show everyone else what happens, this is what's left of the styrofoam. Do not touch this with your hands, no matter how satisfying it looks. Truly, I don't I don't know what, what this 
is, is this styrofoam slime? I have to show people this part too. Step on in, Sierra. Sierra, hey. you're gonna watch something cool happen. I and smell that's, something that's, happening. That's all that's gonna happen. Okay. Whoa. What the heck? Is that like melting to the bottom? Do you know what this is? No. Does the smell smell familiar to you? Acetone, isn't it? Ding, ding, ding! You don't even have to push it. Like it, it'll it just, it just melts by itself. I'm to push it though. It's really cool. It just completely oh my gosh. melts it. Do you want to know something that's even cooler? I would not touch this if I were I you. Would, I will not touch um, it. It looks like sugar. Like, you know when you like are full yeah. of sugar? Yeah. But like how that's insane crazy. is that? Like, thanks for stopping yeah. by and looking at my I screen. really want to touch that. I, I know. know. So according to thoughtco.com, dissolving styrofoam or any other polystyrene product in acetone is a spectacular demonstration of the solubility of this plastic into an organic solvent. So it's plastic. It essentially melts in any sort of organic solvent. It's, it's pretty not that exciting. That's really all the science we got from that. But of course, again, five minute crafts didn't actually teach us that. Wish it was just like a little bit more informative. This next experiment is one that I have wanted to try for ever, but it just took some research to make sure that I get everything right because it involves fire and fire is dangerous. So we are gonna go into the Orange Base warehouse. So we have some nice ventilation for this one and some safety measures in place. We are gonna be making a sugar snake. Now, if you don't know what a sugar snake is, it's something I saw on a five minute crafts video. You essentially take sugar. Some people have their own different recipes for it, but I found one that I think is gonna be really simple and really gonna work. You take sugar, put it on sand, pour some rubbing alcohol on it, light it, and as the sugar burns, carbon is released, which pushes the burnt sugar up, and it essentially makes this long, continuous sugar snake. Let's make it. Okay, so we need to bust out the scale. I need 10 grams of sugar and 40 grams of powdered sugar. Okay, so now I have to combine these and make sure they're mixed really well. But again, this isn't information that I got from 5 Minute Crafts. I had to look this up through different articles on the internet. We're now in Orange Base, and look, Michael Talamentis is here doing other things, but you know. Being Bob the Builder. Being Bob the Builder. So we are now in, of course, a well-ventilated area. We got a fire extinguisher over there. You can't see it, but I promise. I'm gonna do this as safely as possible. So we are going to take this isopropyl alcohol. Wow, did not say that right for sure. Some people have said that you can do this experiment using lighter fluid, but that just sounded extremely Extremely dangerous. This is also kind of dangerous, but we'll see. So we are just going to take a little bit of this and spray it like in a small circle on the mound. What is this? Is this just dirt? That's, are you panning for gold? No, that's just sand. <laughs> I have sand, isopropyl alcohol, and powdered sugar. What do you think I'm doing? So no. I'm guessing you're gonna light sand on fire and walk through it? I'm actually lighting the sugar on fire in mm. hopes to make a carbon sugar snake. Have you seen Bruce? those before? Hey, I mean, go off, sis. I mean, if you're gonna burn some sand and make some snake boys, out of it. It's like, kill it, but. <laughs> if your eyebrows are missing, don't do this experiment. <laughs> don't do this experiment. Don't do this experiment. All right, there, there's our official safety warning. It's a dope. <laughs> <laughs> that hasn't even seen it yet. <laughs> we have our sand that I am going to not just spray a little circle in, I'm going to soak this with the alcohol. Now I'm gonna take my baking soda and powdered sugar mixture and pour a nice little mound. And now I hope this works. Please, please, please let this work. Okay, so we have the baking soda in there. Oh my gosh, okay, wait, that's already making this. Oh my gosh, I think it's actually, guys, I think this is actually gonna work. Guys, it's working. It's actually working. Guys, it's still going. still very slowly going from the bottom. You can kind of see it bubble at the base, but this is so sick. So the consensus is five minute crafts. Their science experiments didn't all fail. I was actually really surprised, but they don't really offer enough information to like inform you on how to perform it. Woods wanted to be here. <laughs> 
I did. <laughs> I was just on my way to get some more water for the Keurig. And he said he wanted science, so this I is you being science, a part of science. Out so, outro this video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want more science videos, just let us know down in the comments below. I want more science videos because I wasn't here for the science videos. Click right here for a video that Sam puts uh, puts right there for you. And click over here because YouTube thinks you're going to like it. Thanks for watching. Totally trendy. Is that how you do it? Ew! <laughs>